I ran to be an officer, kind of by accident really. A few things just went wrong on the course and I was sort of like, well, this is completely unfair. Like we pay so much money to be at university. We had such a bad experience at university. Couldn't believe this was happening to other students. I, when I was a student, first year, second year, I didn't really realise who the officers were. It was more until I got involved with the students union that I actually realised, wow, there's five people that are working full time to kind of change things throughout the uni. I would describe this job as like no other job that you will ever have anywhere else. It really is a sort of once in a lifetime opportunity because you will never get the chance to have a platform to make change like this one. So I'd explain the role of an officer as, it's, it's kind of like an MP at a university level. It's so difficult to explain what an officer does because it's so many different things. You're an activist, so you're you know, running on campaigns, you're out there within the student body, you're putting pressure on people high up in the university to make change for students. Um, I can come up with the most craziest idea, and as long as I can convince people that it's a good idea, everybody gets on board, it's like mad. The elections are super important because you're choosing who will represent you to the university. You're voting in the person you believe will do the best for you. By being an officer, you get the biggest platform to go into the biggest meetings with people like the Vice Chancellor. And chances are that you, no matter how big or small, while you're here, whether it's for a year or two years, you will make a difference to a student's life in some capacity. And that is the most rewarding thing. So when you get elected as an officer, you'll sit down with staff and we'll have like various meetings and work out exactly how we're gonna implement those objectives. I think the best training that I got was guidance from someone who was already doing the roles. Every single day is completely different, like you're constantly on the go. But you kind of do a bit of everything. You could be one day just answering emails, doing admin. The second day I could be doing some public speaking. And then the next day you could be in the highest committee in the university, sat next to the vice chancellor, telling him why you think free education is a good idea. But that's the beauty of this job. You can do something so small that could make a difference to the next day doing something as big as that and that's what keeps it fresh and exciting. So being a student trustee is something that people think of second when they run for the role. So a trustee is basically, you sort of are responsible for that legal, reputational, financial state of the union. So you don't, so there's a couple of students that are trustees. We have like external people that were trustees as well. And you kind of oversee the organisation and you hold the organisation to account on a financial, legal and reputational type of level. You really get a say over the sort of strategic direction the Students' Union is going in. It's at times very like very serious, but it's most of the time quite chilled and very fun. The environment's really friendly, welcoming, opening. Because it's the Students' Union, it's obviously supposed to be really welcoming and opening to students, and it really is. And you have two campuses to go to as well, so you've got a city and Headingley. So being at Headingley campus, I tend to work in the hive a lot more than when I'm in the city where I've got the office space, which you can do whatever you want in room, within reason. The most rewarding aspects of this role are seeing a student have an idea and helping them bring it to life. Any amount of change that you see is just part of the bigger picture of making students' lives better. If you are thinking of running, my advice is just do it, take the plunge, put your nomination in. I did it all myself. It was really hard work, but I, um really believed in it but it is doable you know people love an underdog if you really believe in what you are trying to do really push that make sure that your passion comes through and your passion shows and people who want that to get done will see your passion see that you're serious about it see that you're someone who can get it done and they'll vote for you do it 100 percent, just do it it's going to be an incredible experience 